everyone. Good morning. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Sara Danieli. I'm the um, head of art project here at the European Cultural Center. I just wanted to welcome you and thank you uh, on behalf of the ACC team and give you some information of this year's exhibition. So welcome to the opening of the seventh edition of Personal Structure organized by the European Cultural Center Italy. We are now at Marina Ressa Gardens, one of the venues along Palazzo Bembo and Palazzo Mora that I hope you will see later um, that are the venues uh, that host this year exhibition personal structure for the next, next seven months. So today and tomorrow we are happy to give you a preview of the exhibition and celebrate this achievement together. From Saturday the exhibition will open to the public until the 24th of November. Throughout this period, we will host several events organizing collaboration with all of you, your participants, like workshop performances, artist talk, and also screenings. We started working on the seventh edition of Personal Structure in 2022. Right after the opening of that year's edition, the title at that time was Reflections, which was the first exhibition after the COVID-19 pandemic. It feels like ages, another time, another world. Together, we coped with that and we, overcome, we overcame that tragic moment, which had a strong impact on our lives and changed the world. Sadly, many other events have been happening. Wars are shaping our world and environmental disaster are determining our future. So each of us is temporarily bound by circumstances. External factors like social context or personal experience have an influence on our lives and perspective. However, we believe that each of us has the capacity to overcome these limitations, circumstances, which don't define us. Each of us is able to grow and evolve beyond them. I think that with this reflection, we decide to name the seventh edition of our exhibition, uh, Personal Structure Beyond Boundaries. Personal Structure was born in 2002 as a dynamic platform for artists to showcase their work ideas and research through exhibition, symposia and publication. Originally and traveling initiative, originally as a traveling initiative spanning continents, it found its permanent home in Venice, Italy, hosting the first art exhibition in already 2011. The project Personal Structure sees each work as a result of, a condi of conditions and circumstances of artists themselves. The project wants to be a platform to enhance the different approaches and artistic expression, documenting the plurality of the contemporary art world. This year, with more than 200 projects, we want the exhibition to be a journey, a journey through the different themes that was proposed by the participant. A journey without a defined destination, but open to the possibility of moving around and traveling further. Establish an emerging artist together with institutions, galleries and museums from over 50 countries invite us with their work to explore what is beyond, to see it from a bigger perspective. They suggest unconventional paths, overcoming restriction in favor of personal, social and global growth. In the venues of Palazzo Membo, Palazzo Mora and Marina Lisa Garden, the participants explore topic of cultural identity, ranging from indigenous to post-colonial and find a connection to the theme of memory within different contexts. There are projects that reflect on existential subjects such as loss and life, bringing us to discover spiritual dimensions. Other work will explore the female identity from different perspectives and urgent topics such as environmental issues. This year, we have been also collaborating with artistic, uh, with artists, curators, foundation, and museum on some special project, such as the project Arena 43 by the artist Klaus Littmann, that you can see until the end of July um, at Arsenal Nord, the exhibition Foreigners in Their Homeland, curated by the Palestine Museum US, uh, in, that will be that is exhibiting in Palazzo, in Palazzo Mora, and Pala Second, the extension of the Seychelles Pavilion that this year is exhibiting in the Arsenale, but also it will be present with ex this extension of, uh, of a part of the, the pavilion in Palazzo Mora. As a reflection of the current human condition and society, we believe the personal structure beyond boundaries contains a plurality of opinions and contradictions, and we are happy and proud to explore this journey together. I would like to, uh, to leave you with a quote from a photographer, a writer, and an art historian 
Tejukol that inspired my reflection today and also for the entire exhibition. Um, I found this quote, quote from um, a book that he, it called Human Archipelago. And he says, we are always looking forward and backward, inside and out. We are and we are not what we see. Doubleness, doubleness is the first condition of human. We are not ourselves without also being the others. So I hope that this quote can, uh, can really help you in go through the journey of this exhibition. Uh, and uh, I would like to thank you very much. And I would also want to now give the words to Amit Gupta, that is the founder and director of, this, of Steer World. This is the media partner of this year's edition of Personal Structure. It's a pleasure to have uh, you with us, Amit. Thank you. I wanted just to give you a brief introduction. Uh, Amit Gupta is a creative thinker, curator, and entrepreneur. Amit has worked for over three decades with a motivation to facilitate intersection amongst diverse creative dis disciplines and distant geographies, geographies which la while launching pioneer initiative to propel the creative discourse, practice, and aligned industries. In 2014, with an aim to democratize uh, democratize uh, the knowledge, creation, and dissemination. He set up a founding team to launch STEER with the manifesto to embrace inquiry, investigation, and introspection. The first product of STEER was launched in 2015, a print publication called Mondo Arc India, that has today grown in an, 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 into an interdisciplinary global digital magazine, STEERworld.com. Starting with a career in advertising, Amit to moved on on to set up India's first architecture and design gallery that supported the portfolio of emerging designers while launching iconic global design brands in India in the late 90s. The gallery curated show that now that not only launched new talented but addressed pertinent pertinent teams that challenged the status quo in the domestic landscape and collaborated with international institutions for transcontinental cross-pollination. So, Thank you for, for coming. Thank you. Welcome welcome to this beautiful sunny afternoon here in Venice. It's an immense pleasure for me to be standing here and delivering this keynote on personal structures beyond boundaries. Thank you to the European Cultural Center for inviting me to speak today. And thank you, Sara, to put this together. And you've been doing it for many years now. As we all gather here in Venice, I'm reminded of uh, a quote by a very famous artist, and most of us may have heard of his name, Ai Weiwei, and his powerful assertion which says, everything is art and everything is politics. Personal structures beyond boundaries is not an exhibition. You see artists actively in engaging in social and political dialogue, challenging the boundaries that define and even confine them. In the ecosystem of the arts, the Venice Penale has always been an exciting place to be, sparking creativity and controversies in equal measures that is reflect on collective measure anxieties and urgencies which we face today. As the founder and editor-in-chief of storeworld.com, I'm deeply invested in that tension, in examining how we make art that speaks to times we live in. Beyond Boundaries, this edition of Personal Structures carries forward that provocation, inviting all of us to consider how we orient ourselves to a time of dissolving boundaries, not just in space and time, but also across discipline. It's a familiar term at STIR. Every day we are focused breaking barriers and transcending boundaries across discipline and geographies as we keep our fingers on the pearls of contemporary society. What's unique about us is a perspective. We think and work globally, moored by our roots in Global South. The Global South represents a range of cultures and histories and futures, where the complexities of identity, heritage, and expression finds a canvas as vast as the imagination itself. In the context of contemporary art, the Global South is not merely a participant, but a provocator, a storyteller, a visionary offering alternative narratives that enrich our understanding of the world. 
and I'm proud to represent that part of the community today in front of all of you. Here at Personal Structures and also at the Benale in general, voices from margins are not just whispering for attention, but are boldly claiming their space in the global stage, on the global stage. We are not just a blip on the world map. We are a rich mix of narratives, experiences and visions that challenge the traditional centers of power in the art world. We can't be defined unilaterally by complexity in its social, cultural, political, economic dimensions informs our worldview. The 60th Venice Art Biennale also resonates with these perspectives. With the title Foreigners Everywhere, curator Adriano Pedrosa explains it is as he explains it as follows. Wherever you go and wherever you are, will always encounter foreigners. They, we, are everywhere. The foreigner is a stranger everywhere. In Urdu language, a stranger is an ajnabi, a person who is unknown, but also a person you want to grow to know. We are shaped by where we come from. We know what it means to be strange, foreign, unfamiliar, disenfranchised, Fording logistical and emotional barriers to cross borders. Our lives are also full of diversity, richness, and daily moments of intersectionality. At Stir, we all are Ajnabis, strangers, foreigners, and we are constantly working towards being at home in the world. We are here. We also think next. We think next because we do challenges. We do challenge the status quo. We are reoriented how knowledge is produced and how it is shared and disseminated. Stir works with writers around the world, trying to cultivate a community of writers and practitioners who can share perspective from places that are hubs of the arts ecosystem and even the ones that get left off the map. We introduce audience to the new practitioners and offer fresh approaches to worlds of established artists. We share this information in various formats, audio, video, text images, because accessibility is central to what we do. It is just not a keyword for us, accessibility or sustainability. We want to make our work available to a wide range of audiences, addressing the needs and interests. We are very aware of the role we play in the art ecosystem. The arts aren't just things we write about. We are part of this arts community. We're always listening because we want to keep learning. And there's always vulnerability to this listening that allows us to grow, to keep our hearts and minds open to everything around us. This year's exhibition of personal structures draws at the profound insights and eclectic visions of 200 international artists and engaging with team beyond boundaries. We end the time where we need to respond ecological and social urgencies and speed and with, and with boldness. I appreciate how personal structures makes the effort to bring what is uncomfortable to the fore. Back in India, Stir headquarters is in the neighborhood surrounded by abundant quarries. In the global south, climate change is immediate and dangerous, forcing small and big changes in how we live and work. I'm reminded of this urgency seeking work like the sculpture we just saw in morning by Emily Young, who uses stones from abundant quarries in a plea for environmental consciousness and renewal. We see another side of the issue in Fezer Butt's series of works where paradise is blemished by human access, with Butt painting the tradition of Dutch golden age, but filling her frames with traces of excessive consumption. Many of these artists are changing the way we think about art and identity. On my right, you'll see Yoko Uno's flagless work, invisible flags, asserts a persistent voice on peace and advocacy through her work in this very garden. In a selection that keeps the current crisis in Palestine in view, the Palestinian Museum U.S. presents foreigners in their homeland, an exhibition on view on Plaza Mora, curated by count, uh, founder of the museum, uh, Faisal Salah. It showcases works by Palestinian multimedia artists who use their art to respond to conflict, displacement, and complex questions of national identity. We, see, we will see national pavilions at Benale 
but a forum like personal structures also creates space for communities that were historically disenfranchised like the Roma people, Europe's largest minority. The site-specific installation Roma Lepanto takes its name from the 16th century battle, reminding us the destinies of nation states and communities that invisibles are historically intertwined. Identity is also a deeply reflection. It is deeply rooted. In destiny, Ross Sutton's unapologetic women artists consider how women navigate the world, reflecting on bodily autonomy in a series of provocative narratives. We are living in a tumultuous time where war is not just perpetrated and enacted across geographical boundaries, but also people's bodies. Whether we speak of Israel and Palestine or ongoing situation in Ukraine, and the arts community is responding to this tumult. Take the Ukraine Pavilion, specifically the Project Comfort work by Andriy Dostiv and Leah Dostiv, which restages portraits of Ukrainian refugees in timely reckoning on what popular perception a refugee looks like and how this portrayal is double-edged sword, commoditizing images of pain and suffering while serving to keep these images and thus ongoing war in Ukraine in our thoughts. Stur published a piece on Egypt's National Pavilion where the artist Will Soski's work, Drama 1882, which looked like a lot of Soski's work, take us back to an incident in past offering new perspective. In this case, Urabi, Revolution of 1882, when an Egyptian military officer initiated an uprising against the Egyptian history, you read, what happened in 1882 is either a revolt or a revolution. The arts offers us ways of questioning the status quo, of making and reinforcing the subtle distinctions between a revolt or a revolution. Now more than ever, the world needs plurality. It needs to hear from multiple voices. We are very proud of what we're doing at STIR, working with a team of writers from across the world. In the past month alone, we've covered events on four continents. The canvas of contemporary art is vast. How we fill it is a choice we all make in terms of the burning questions, ideas and practice where we foreground across all the work in the arts, both individually and at, ins at institutional level. And an exhibition like Personal Structures, now in its seventh edition, but in 22 years under its belt as a project, reminds us of the power of these choices. How do we find the courage to negotiate these complex narratives of identity, politics, and existence? The arts are not merely a mode of reflection. They're basis of a shared future. How do we continue to push boundaries and keep towards the necessary, the new, and the next? Thank you for being here, for what you do, and for the hope and determination you bring to arts. Thank you. Thank you very much, Amit. Uh, it was a wonderful speech, uh, and I think it's really uh, give you, give us the, the idea of what is personal structure and what is it in the context of the Venice Biennale and, and, and Venice and our current time. So really, um, since here with a, with a heart, I wanted to thank you all of you to, to be here, to have been collaborating to this exhibition, to um, for all your efforts, to for all your um, um, for, all, for your professionalism, for everything that you have done to not just bring your work here, but just to, to share also uh, what is important, your experience to uh, give us different perspective and as also was saying, go beyond the boundaries that, it, they're just boundaries, that just go beyond, just push forward and um, there are no limitations and we have just to grow to create a better future. Uh, that it's our future and um, let, let's do the, the best out of w what we have been grateful. So I, I'm grateful for, for all of you being here today and I hope to continue to enjoy um, the, the, this um, event here in Vanilla Garden and I hope to see you all in uh, Palazzo Bembo afterwards at uh, uh, five um, and then tomorrow to see uh, the 
the project in, in Marinaris in uh, Palazzo Mora from Always Five. So thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and thank you all the team of the CC. Yeah, I didn't uh, mention, uh, thank you all the CC team. <laughs>